Welcome back to Off the Sprue, our 1970 and a half AMT Chevy Camaro. In the last video, we went through most of our trees and went through most of the parts. This is going to be the remainder of the parts on this build. We have our beautiful Camaro dashboard with this AM FM radio, our heater controls, all our lights and switches there, the vents for the AC. We got an emergency brake, clutch, brake pedal and gas pedal all in there and the glove box with the lock. And we move over here to the steering box, the alternator, which really poor detail on that. We got our battery, which has a little bit more detail, but is still lacking. We got our master cylinder with booster. We got our small block Chevy and four speed transmission with bell housing assemblies. We got those nicely detailed small block Chevy heads with the rocker arm showing. So you could build this with the valve covers off and look like you're make it look like you're working on the motor. We have the oil pan with oil filter molded in one, the starter, the cast iron exhaust manifolds, the firewall which looks to have the wiper motor attached to it. We got our power steering, our belt pulley system, The clutch fan, clutch for the clutch fan, timing cover water pump, which not too bad detail. You can see some bolts in there. Obviously not on my camera phone. Got a nice fan there. And we got the carburetor, which looks to be slightly improper for this model I don't know if it was supposed to have a Holly or a Quadrajet but that looks to be a three barrel the way that's set up you can see the bottom of it our distributor which is slightly lacking we might do something extra on that we got the finned aluminum looking valve covers which aren't really correct for this car but it does have some nice detail with the oil cap on there and almost looks like there's a possibility of a PCB valve there and we have our stock intake sorry about my camera I'm trying to look at both things not doing great this is my first review video up next we're going to look at the decals we got our blacks and our white SZ28 stripes with the really nice Z28 logos and I guess you can make a rally sport out of this too because those are rally sport logos Round two, I guess, is really good about doing the dash decals for your gauges. And you got another Z28 logo, the 350 Turbo Fire Air Cleaner decal. The license plates I'm going to be putting on mine, be since I'm from California, the, the 70 Z28 ones. We're going to do some Chevy ones, or some Camaro ones. In this kit, you'll get four Firestone, looks to be Sun Sports tires. Never even heard of those, and I worked at a tire shop for a while. But and I'm leaving them in the plastic so that way I don't lose them. 
the nice thing is they don't need to be scuffed up or anything. I'm trying to get a good view, but it's not going to show. But they are black wall tires. So if you have a steady hand and a white gel pin, you can bring that Firestone lettering out. Makes them look really nice. Up next, we have our clear parts. Starting off with our red clear for the tail lights. I love when they do that. It makes it so much easier. It looks so much cleaner too. We got a single piece for the windshield and looks really clear. Same with the back window. And then you have your headlights and turn signals. Last but not least, surprisingly very little for a Camaro of chrome. You got your rear bumper, your front bumperettes, the grill, which with you if you black wash that looks really nice or you can paint the whole thing black and use your multile pen or your silver sharpie to bring out the the edge back to silver and use the decal for that Z28 logo and then the shifter it's one piece I never understood why all of them got to be chrome so that's it for this review once again this is on the 70 and a half Chevy Camaro Z28. Sorry that it was in two parts. Like I said, I'm still learning. And I will put up an, the next video on paint, how I painted the body and go over detail. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.